In today's video, I'm going to go over what weapons I think will come in with the British forces when they come into Hill Let Loose. I have no release date yet on when the British are actually going to come in, but as soon as I get that information, I will of course let you guys know, so subscribe to the channel so you can get notified for that information. Now first, let's start with what will be the standard rifle for the British forces, and it's got to be the Lee Enfield No. 4 Mark 1. This is a bolt action rifle that can hold up to 10 bullets in this magazine. This very well could become the best bolt action rifle in the game because of how many bullets it can hold. It will really come down to how good the iron sights are. So this rifle was adopted by the British Army in 1941 and it featured numerous improvements over its predecessor. It was quite a heavy rifle so instead of fixing a traditional bayonet onto the end, they developed a new bayonet, a spike bayonet for it instead, which essentially was a steel rod with a sharp point nicknamed the pig sticker. They could also include the number 5 Mark 1 or the, the jungle carbine. This was made to be a shorter and lighter variant, which also included a flash hider. The SMG has got to be the stand gun. Originally, the British were using the Thompson purchased from America, and after the evacuation at Dunkirk, the British had to replace many weapons that were lost. The Americans couldn't meet the demand of the British Army, and the Thompson was pretty expensive, somewhere from $70 to $200 per gun. So the Sten was developed, and it was a lot cheaper, costing about $11 per gun. It's a pretty iconic weapon for the British forces, so this has to be included. I guess they could include the Thompson as an extra SMG since you know it was used before the Sten was brought in, but to keep each force unique they should just stick with the Sten. Now for the automatic rifleman kit it's a bit tricky, maybe. The main LMG used by the British was the Bren gun, which is purely a light machine gun so it would fit into the machine gunner's kit, not really the automatic rifleman kit. They don't have a beefier version of the Sten gun that holds more bullets that they could stick in with the automatic rifleman like the drum mag for the PPSH. So I'm thinking of a few scenarios here. One is that they put the brain gun as the automatic rifle since the BAR, while that is an automatic rifle, it was used like an LMG as well, you know, being deployed with a bipod, which is coming to the game. If they did this, then for the machine gunner, they could give them the Lewis gun. Only a few of these guns were issued during the war and they were mainly given to the home guard. Another could be to give both the automatic rifleman and the machine gunner brain guns. I don't think that this would be overpowered since they only hold about 30 rounds in a magazine. Although there is a 100 round pan magazine which was used, so maybe that version could go to the machine gunner. Or they just give the Sten gun to the automatic rifleman, but I wouldn't like that. For the handgun, it's got to be the Enfield No. 2 revolver. I expect it to handle pretty much the same as the Nagant revolver in the game, and I don't think they need to change anything in terms of game balance or historical accuracy. I know the guns would have performed differently, but in terms of in-game, just make it perform the same as the Nagant. And for the anti-tank, it's got to be the Projector Infantry Anti-Tank, or the Pier. It was based from a spigot mortar system, so in game it's going to be a bit tricky to use because you're going to have to keep your aim above your target at pretty much any range. It will be interesting to see how it stacks up against the Bazooka and the Panzer Shrek. But the British also used the Boys anti tank rifle before the Pier was introduced, so we could see these weapons in different kits for the British anti tank role. Using these weapons together could be very powerful. You could disable the tracks with the rifle, and then another AT from a different squad could then land some easy shots with the pier. I also have some ideas for some more unique weapons they could introduce for the British. Now, I have already mentioned the Sten gun, but there were a number of suppressed models of the Sten gun. Now, imagine that bringing in a silenced SMG into Hell Let Loose. This weapon could be very good to use, especially during an intense firefight. Imagine getting around the flank of the enemy and taking out people with a silenced SMG. They could have no idea where you are. 
they could easily test this as well just by copying the stem in game and just replacing the firing sound with a suppressed sound to see how well it fits into the game. To balance this weapon they should reduce the bullet velocity because the suppressed weapons did have a lower bullet velocity. Also we have the Delisle Carbine or the Commando Carbine. This was a bolt action rifle that fired 0.45 ACP from a magazine and the rifle had an integrated suppressor. Apparently the rifle could not be heard when it was fired from further than 46 meters away. If this weapon made it into Hell Let Loose I wouldn't expect it to be completely silent up to that distance and I would make it weaker than the other bolt action rifles. Maybe something like the M1 carbine which I believe one shots people up to 50 meters. Now I expect some people to say bringing in silenced weapons would make this too much like COD but these weapons were used in World War II by the British commando units so they were in a limited capacity but they were used and they could give them to the British forces in Hell Let Loose to give them that more unique identity. Let's not forget the sniper as well which has just got to be the Lee Enfield with a scope on it. So that's my thoughts on bringing in the British weapons into Hell Let Loose. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about this especially the silenced weapons because you know they were historically accurate and they were used. So let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. I don't have any information on when the British are coming into Hell Let Loose but as soon as I get more information on that I will of course let you guys know so subscribe to the channel if you want to stay notified. So thank you guys for watching, give this video a like and I will see you on the next one.